What's up, Brewery Life? Jasper here today. So I've uh, received a few emails recently about brewers wanting help with their brewing calculations out there. Um, a lot of brewers these days use um, fancy apps and spreadsheets um, to do their brewing calculations. I'm one of the few that still uh, use pen and paper for the majority of the calculations I use on a daily and weekly basis. Um, so if you uh, ever drop your phone in the toilet, um, if the internet gets shut down in the world all of a sudden, how are you guys going to brew beer for everyone out there? Well, hell if I know, but let's go check out the slurry density equation. Okay, for the slurry density equations, we need to make a couple assumptions. First, I assume um, that you guys know how to collect, dilute, and count your yeast with a hemocytometer. I did a video in the past about getting a, a correct dilution, and there's a bunch of videos online about how to count with a hemocytometer. So go check those out if you guys uh, are a little bit iffy on that. Uh, I'm also assuming that you guys know how to uh, count your viability and look for a, a live cell versus a dead cell. My final assumption is that um, one milliliter equals one gram. So on this chamber volume here can be expressed in milliliters or grams if you're pitching by weight. Um, I like to express it in grams. If you're going to be pitching your yeast slurry by volume, you can express it in milliliters. Sometimes that uh, really messes with people. They don't like expressing the chamber volume in grams. So just go ahead and use milliliters and pitch your yeast by volume. So the first equation we have here um, is if you were to count all 25 squares on the hemocytometer. You would put the number of viable cells that you counted in all 25 squares, the dilution rate that you diluted uh, the slurry at, and your chamber volume, again expressed in milliliters or grams. Now that's not really common. Usually as brewers we like to make things easy, um, so we don't count all 25 squares. We just count um, five squares the corners and the middle squares. So for most of us brewers that count five squares, this is the equation. The viable cells that you counted in those five squares times five, that would give, give us all 25 squares, times the dilution over the chamber volume again. Um, so that would be if you counted just the five squares, which, most, uh, which is most common for brewers to do. But now let's see if we could simplify this so we can commit it to memory a little bit easier. What uh, doesn't change um, between uh, these, the, this equation uh, between batches? It's the 5 and your chamber volume. Most chamber volumes for every hemocytometer that I've seen use one, uh, what is that, a ten thousandth of a place? would be the would be the chamber volume expressed in milliliters or grams so since we always use those two and they're static let's simplify it 5 divided by 0 0.0001 is 50,000 so the final density equation and the this is the equation that I have committed to memory that I use almost on a daily basis is your viable cells that you count times the dilution that you used, times 50,000. And this will give you cells per milliliter or cells per gram, depending on how you want to pitch your yeast. And finally, let's look at an example. Say you counted 132 cells in your five squares, viable cells that is. Your dilution is 120. If you guys have seen my dilution video, then you know I like to go up to 120 um, on my dilution times the 50,000. So cells times dilution times 50,000 gives you your density. I always pitch by weight, so my density is in grams here. That's just under, what, three quarters of a billion cells um, per gram of slurry. 
So that's how you uh, use the hemocytometer and this uh, equation to find the density of your slurry. So finding your slurry density is a really important equation to use. In our next video, I'll show you guys how to do a total cells needed equation. Um, with these couple equations, we're going to be working towards how many total grams or how many total milliliters of slurry we need to pitch per batch of beer. Hopefully that helps someone out there. Until next time, cheers.